navigating your child's classes in the Edsby app. So I'm going to open Edsby and I am going to be logged in as my parent account Ron Chapman and here we see my daughter Carol and if I scroll down I'll see my son Kyle and here I can click on or tap on his classes and the first thing we notice is the list of classes and you'll see a menu across the top we'll see this is his list of current classes if we go to recent these are recent classes that he had completed and upcoming would be upcoming classes that are later on in the year so in the current classes we see that there is a 92 per 92.6 percent in English and if there are other graded assignments in these other classes those would also show percentages but we can drill down into this English class and see more detail about what's made up this 92.6 percent so if I go into English we also the first thing we're going to notice is the class feed and the types of posts you're going to see in the class feed are homework are uh, welcome posts or conversation posts you're only going to see what the teacher posts you're not going to see the communications that the students post for privacy reasons but across the top you'll see my work which is your students work so if there are any assignments that have been assigned and what date those happened and if there have been graded and the teacher has shared those grades you'll see what the grade was on that assignment and if there were a, if there was a comment on that assignment so here's a 10 out of 10 with a comment of great work and here's a 95 percent on a poetry assignment and we can scroll down and see other assignments as well content goes over the syllabus or the planner or um, content of the class that the if the teacher has built it out that far for the year so we'll see unit one here's everything they're going to cover in unit one or January unit reading comprehension and we can also dig down into these items as well so I could click on this poetry homework or this reading assignment since that's what we went into and see that it's going to be please write a 500 words on and that'll give more detail on to the student journal entries the teacher post that can be can be used by the teacher isn't always but they're a kind of a summary document that maybe a unit summary or a daily summary or weekly summary it depends on how the teacher decides to use them so the most current journal entry will be displayed first and you can of course view all journal entries by clicking the view all library is all the media that has been uploaded or attached to post by the teacher in the class feed so you can view this by list or tile mode you can search and you can also sort by last modified created by or by size so images word docs spreadsheets pdfs videos music files whatever has been uploaded is in the library and this can also be sorted by folders so the teacher may organize this a little bit better than just having files uploaded to the library um, as you get deeper into the contents you can always click this back arrow to get back to where you can see the top menu and of course you can always get back to your Edsby home screen by clicking the home button in the bottom left hand corner I hope this helps navigating your students' classes.